With spring well underway, the temperature fluctuates and here fish are developing skin ulcers. It is due to the waxing and waning of their immunity. And also, if we do proper diagnostics, you'll see that this is not a simple case of bacterial ulcers. But in this case, we have got skin flu, also known as gyrodactylus. These parasites feed intensively on the mucus and skin cells, on the gills and on the skin, causing severe irritation and damage and predispose them to secondary bacterial infection. So here are this fish, we have some fin damage, which we have the fish uh, under anesthesia and we trim the affected portion off. After that is done, apply some topical betadine, which is diluted one in 10 and apply this powder gel. This cellulose based compound will enable the medication to stay on the site for a few hours. Here are this core here, you can see there is a huge defect behind the eye, huge ulcer. So what we're doing is we're scraping the ulcer to remove all the dead flesh. And then we'll always take a swab to see what bacteria is growing there, mm -hmm. to see if it's a primary or secondary bacterial pathogen and also if we can run um, antibiotic sensitivity, that way we know um, what sort of antibiotics we need to use or we might have to change if it's something that the bacteria is resistant to. Um, so this guy is looking like he's gone a bit deep. So let's irrigate his gills with fresh water. So we have to remove the affected um, bones that are necrotic or degenerate. Uh, similarly, if there are scales affected, uh, you would be removing the scales by pulling them out. So here the fish is being irrigated intermittently with uh, alternating between anesthetic solution and clean water. And again, once the lesion has been debrided, um, topical betadine, which is diluted, is then applied onto the site. Here I apply again the powder gel to help with the adherence of the betadine so that it doesn't wash off as soon as you replace the fish in water. Apply this for about two or three thin layers and you're done. Just because we're going to release them soon. And then this next one is saying. So here what I'm doing is I'm going to inject some antibiotics into its intraperitoneally. Because it's quite often that skin disease can lead to systemic disease. It is something that is very common in many aquatic animals. Once the fish is ventilating by itself and shows a little bit of movement, he can be left to recover. And you'll notice that other fish will come in to check what's going on.